people, my name is Toyo C. Phillips. It is with great joy and emotional ecstasy that I introduce to you Dr. Injakri Damage. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! I know. New York City is so great that two days after a million people gathered at the New York Times Square to welcome the new year, mm -hmm. Governor Cuomo ordered all the homeless people in New York to be forced into a shelter. Hey! I know, I know. Watch. It's not right to leave children on the street corner. On Sunday, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo signed an executive order mandating that authorities take homeless people to shelters whenever the outside temperature hits the freezing point. Wow! <laughs> and, wow. You, and you would think that that would make everyone happy. No, hell no. Not in New York City. Here is New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio kicking the governor for giving that order. Watch. It seems to simply reiterate what's already in the law and the power we already have to bring people in off the streets. And we use that power. Let's be clear. Uh, if any NYPD officer thinks someone's in danger, they have the right to bring him in. <laughs> I know, I know. The two have issues. I tell you, over 50,000 people are homeless in New York City. And this is what you get. So what does the homeless people, what do they think about this, this order to, to go to shelters? Watch. Rounding people up because they're homeless is both illegal and bad policy. People got a choice. If they want to go, they'll go. <laughs> I know, I know. Beside rats and homeless people, if you watch this show consistently, you will know that one of the things that baffles me about America is the gun culture in America. Yeah, speak about yeah. it. More Americans kill themselves each year using a gun than all the Americans that died in over 10 years of war in Iraq and Afghanistan. What? Oh yeah, yeah. Now, to understand the gun deaths in America, you need to have the September 11th, 2001 attack happen 10 times each year in America. Oh yeah, 10 times. That is the equivalent of violence Americans bring on themselves each year using handguns. So, so last week, with tears rolling down his eyes and up his ears, <laughs> Obama acted on guns. Yeah. He, yeah, the president, yeah. He issued an executive order. Yes. He started by appealing to Americans using those words, you know, telling them that those people you kill with guns mm -hmm. also have unalienable rights to life, freedom, liberty, mm -hmm. those kind of things, pursuit and of happiness. happiness. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Watch, watch the man. Or unalienable right to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness, those rights were stripped from college kids in Blacksburg and Santa Barbara and from high schoolers at Columbine. I know, I know. Good, good point, Mr. President, good, good point. Tell them, watch. And from first graders in Newtown. First graders. Oh yes, oh yes. Wow. You are not hey. you are not even safe, even if you are a first grader. Even yes. for those in Africa, it's primary one. Wow. You are not you are not that safe. Is so it's sad. terrible. Wow. Gun violence in America. Talk tell them more. And from every family who who never imagined that their loved one would be taken from our lives by a bullet from a gun. Uh, please don't don't lose it, Mr. President. Don't don't cry now. Don't cry, uh, uh, Obama. Please don't don't help. Don't. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. So wow. Forget it. He's crying. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to stop him, but... <laughs> and 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 there is always. By the way, in America, anything in America, this by the way. Uh -huh. Listen to him. And by the way, it happens on the streets of Chicago every day. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, the the, the, the night Obama made that speech, four people were shot dead hey, in South Side Chicago, Obama's what? neighborhood. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? Four people. So, hey. so, so. You would think that Americans would say, ah, oh, this man made a lot of sense. Eh? Let us do something about, right. about this gun. Mm -hmm. No way, no way. 
Look at their reaction. Listen to their reaction. Where was that emotion for the victims of San Bernardino terror attack? And where's the emotion calling Islamic terror what it is, Islamic and terrorism? Wait, wait, wait. It's not just men. Even the women, too. Look at this one. I, I don't begrudge him showing the emotion. He's a father. And anybody talking about children and loss of lives. But I also think about the children and the Christians that are being murdered and beheaded and executed and disabled children being executed by ISIS. And I women! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, don't don't wait for her to cry. You know, she was saying that. You know, when you're talking about dead babies and children, you'll cry. You, you, she, watch her. I want to see our president show that level of emotion and resolve and passion to achieve the ends that we need as far as it relates to national security and keeping Americans safe. Oh my God. I know. I know. I know. Fox News will not let me. Fox News will not let me show you another clip of one of the Fox News hosts who was saying that Obama must have left onions on the podium. Oh that, that, it, it, she said it, that that was why he, he had tears. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, defenders of the right to bear arms are taking over government buildings in Oregon. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. look at them. If our federal government would have abided by the Constitution, the supreme law of the land, we would have never have gotten here. Now, th th those guys are not kidding. They are not kidding. L listen to him. We are supposed to spread freedom, not tyranny. And we must make sure that we put this to an end today. <laughs> wow. Now, now, those who are too busy to go and occupy government buildings are busy raising their guns up and saying, From my cold, dead hands. over my dead cold hand. Hey! <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. You know, you know, watching these militias, that's what they call them in America, mm -hmm. they remind me of the militants in Nigeria. Yeah. Like, like this one. My support will be biased. Charity begins at home. Monkey no find him, Mama Laika. Good luck, my, my person. If from my place, I'm not going to leave him. <laughs> nah, nah. Now, for those of you who do not know, the difference between a militia and a militant mm -hmm. is that while the militia reads the American Constitution upside down, mm -hmm. the militants turn upside down to read the Nigerian Constitution. <laughs> That's the only difference. That's it. They, they all think alike. They all have the same gun and everything. Now, I'm talking about life turning upside down. Imagine sitting at home and watching TV, mm -hmm. and suddenly you saw your grandson featured on ISIS propaganda video. Hey. I know. That happened to a Nigerian man in the United Kingdom. Hey, now, 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 trust the UK media. They found the man and placed a microphone on his face. Oh. What? what do you make of what's happened? Surprised. Totally disappointed. Totally disappointed. Wow. Yeah. The, the man was surprised, totally surprised. So they asked him, what about the little boy? Yes, what about the little boy? What's his answer? What about the little boy? I mean, when was the last time you saw the little boy? Uh, uh, that was about over two years ago, before they went to Syria. Yeah. Oh my God. I know, I know. Don't you yeah. love the man's performance? Eh? Considering the circumstances, don't you love his performance? Hmm. Now, talking about performances, the last has not been heard about Dasuki Get. Did you, did you know about the certificate? Of it's course. continuing. Yeah. This week, PDP spokesman, Olisa uh. Metu, was arrested by the EFCC. Yes. They want him to explain the money he got from Dasuki. Uh -huh. Now, now in, in jail, yourself. in jail, Olisa Metu was crying like a baby. Aww. Now, now, I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you what is in the news. News reports said he refused to eat and drink. Aww. Now, now, I, until I said to him, the same thing that his grandmother used to tell us at Newe, you know, where he's from. Uh -huh. I said to him, bro, bro, remember that it is the head that is alive that worries about lies. Hey! Do you know what I mean? This, oh, this is a deep proverb. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. Sahara reporters, you know Sahara people, they check their news so again yeah, yeah, and yeah, again. Yeah. 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 Be people. Before they rush to publish oh, it. God. Sahara reporters wrote that Metu planned trip to Dubai from where he would have escaped to Caribbean island hey, before he was hey. He wanted to go, you know, I said, Boy. poor Metu, poor Metu, eh? Poor Metu. 
go to Biafra. You refused. I said, go to Biafra. See, see your life now. See your life. Listen to me. You won't listen to me. Go to Biafra. Nobody will come there to get you. Right. Now, now, trust the PDP people. The arrest of their mouthpiece put them in override. They immediately issued a statement saying, and I quote, Nigeria's democracy may break with the arrest of Olisa Meto. <laughs> I said, oh my God, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> We're in trouble. Don't mind, don't, don't mind them. They are just <laughs> embellishing things, you know? They know it and we know it. Nigeria's democracy will only break when the video is arrested. If, if you want to break Nigeria, arrest the video and you'll see. Yeah, I know, I know. That's it. Now, I was, however, shocked when PDP warned Buhari and EFCC not to kill or poison metal. Oh, yeah. Now, now, for a long time, I kept scratching my head as I was wondering, eh, why would anybody want to kill, uh, kill that why? entertainer, Olisa Meto? Oh, no, no, entertainer. That spokesman, Olisa Meto. <laughs> why? Why? And then I remember, I remember, yes, Olisa Meto was penciled down to be Dasuki's uh, vice president in 2000. Wow, wow, yeah, 2019. Wow. And that everything, that explains everything, you wow. know? Everything now makes sense. Wow! He was supposed to be the vice president of Dasuki during the election. Hey! Now, in a similar story, the governor of Oshun State, the governor in waiting, not the real governor now, the one waiting, <laughs> Mr. Femi Fanikayode, yeah. in a preemptive strike, announced that he never received 1.7 billion from Dasuki. Are you sure? I know, I know. The man sure? said, let me just come out and say before they start accusing me of anything. I said, this is what, this is what I said. Okay, okay. That's okay, nice okay, number. that's okay. <laughs> Femi, Femi, that's okay. But what about the white stuff? How many kilos? How many kilos did you get? Eh? How many kilos did you get? <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the EFCC chairman, the new man, he faced the press this week. He came in front of the media for the uh -huh. first time. Uh -huh. As expected, he was asked the most important question in the fight against uh, corruption. What was, what was that? Yeah, yeah. They said, where are you going to get the prisons to put all these thousands of criminals where in Nigeria? Are you no. Going no, 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 no. That, that wasn't the most important question. <laughs> no. The question was, why is it that EFCC, that they are after PDP members and not APC? Hey. Is, is he implying that APC is a party of saints? Why PDP is a party of sinners? That was, that was the question. Hey! Here is his answer. This is his answer. And I'm quoting. Such accusations have come up a lot. Yes! But we work with the petitions before us. Hey! In fact, I'm eager and waiting for something from the other side. But what nothing has that? come up. Yeah, that's what, what Mr. That? Mr. Mans, Mr. Magu, that's what he said. He's waiting for petition from the other side. I said, oh this is my response. With all due respect, Mr. Magu. Mm? Yeah, total. Do you have the phone number of Governor Wiki of River State? Hey! I, I'm asking you, do you have hey! the phone number? Call him and ask him about that petition against Amechi. Wrote me Amechi. Hey! The Minister of Transportation. Just a phone call, you will get the petition. And in fact, in fact, you don't even need to call anyone. For Governor Tunde Fashole, the former governor, who is now the Minister of Housing, Power and Roads, just read the reports issued by Budget It on Fashola's tenure as governor of Lagos State. Amen. You will get all the things you need to act. Amen. <laughs> now, now, I really think that people who run the affairs of Nigeria, they absolutely believe that Nigerians are mumu. That's it. Mumu. They think we are complete idiots. Hey. Otherwise, 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 they will not be, they will not, they will respect our intelligence. Ah, respect us. Yeah. Respect them. There are some things that they won't be saying, like, like this one. We are paying for the sins of the last administration. And I'm not, I'm being, I'm, I'm being very serious. Oh I know, I know. I, and then this one. The only way forward for this country, for each and every one of us now, is to join hands with the APC governors, join hands with Buhari, with Tinumbu. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what did he say? Join hands to do what? Join hands with Buhari, with Tinumbu, join hands with Nuhu Ribadu, El Rufai, and all the others, and Samandai, and so many others, and, and, and move this country forward, and fight the PDP. And that is where I am, as from today. Is that Femi Fani Kayode or somebody else? Was he high there, or was he sober in, this, in that video? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> anyway, anyway, talking about performances, I'm sure you have analyzed again and again 
the performance of President Buhari during his first media chat. Did you guys watch it? Yes. Did, you, did you watch it? Oh, yeah. yeah. The general consensus was that he was honest but misguided. <laughs> like, like here, watch. Some excited teenagers were virtually eating the chest of generals, you know, putting roadblocks, burning vehicles, and pelting them with the missiles. As How can I do you feel infuriated? Very much so, but I, again, I realize my position. I'm not. Did, wow. you, did you see the president's face when he was talking about people beating the generals in the chest? Nalan. Now, you see, you see, Buhari, if Buhari were to be articulate, eh, like uh, President Museveni of Uganda, uh -huh. he would have put it this way. Watch. If you go and you put your finger in the anus of a, of a leopard, you're in trouble. Yeah. You see, these generals are the same. Be it Kegame or Museveni or Buhari, you can cure the illness, but the blinking of the eyelids, mm, of it, it, it will never end. No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, in general, considering his limitations, Buhari was on the right track, mm. giving the exact answers that Femi Adeshina told him to give until, yeah. until he was asked about Dasuki and Nam the Kano. <laughs> uh, that was when he went off script. Of course. Watch. And the one we are calling Kano, do you know he has two passports, one Nigerian, one British, and he came to this country without using any, any passport? Do you know he brought an equipment into this country, a sophisticated equipment, and was broadcasting for Radio Biafra? Which kind of government do you want to have? <laughs> oh I know, I know. I, and then this one. Technically. If you see the type of atrocities those people committed, I'm very sorry to say this publicly, against the country. If they jump bail, if say the former president just wrote to the governor's center right, and said, give 40 billion naira, 40 billion to so, so, so. And then he fills the account and you give him bail or you ask him to go and see his doctor in London. While you have two million people in IDPs, half of them, they don't even know their parents. Which kind of country do you want to run? <laughs> what, what, I mean, what I mean, Baba, Baba, Baba. I thought, I thought this is what the, 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 the Deshina was telling him afterwards. Baba, Baba, I thought we agreed that you have no comment on cases currently in court or under investigation. <laughs> Baba, eh? we said it time and time again. <laughs> now, so Buhari will disobey court orders for the sake of holding Dasuki and Kano. Now, now, that is an invitation to anarchy. Because very soon, people, ordinary people will start disobeying court orders. Of <laughs> now, first of all, first of all, I don't like the way that Suki and Kano are being mentioned in the same sentence. Mm. That Suki and Kano are two different people. Yeah. One is fighting for the well-being of oppressed people of Abuja, uh -huh. an unborn country currently being claimed by Nigeria. Mm. The other one is uh, Namde Kano. <laughs> 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 now, now. Now, obviously, obviously, it's clear to everyone that the president cannot be a prosecutor, judge, and the jury. Yeah. The question is, who will tell the president? Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, not this one, not this one. No, no. They, so who will tell the president? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, not me. <laughs> I don't think so. No, that's why I like science. In science news, the periodic table has four brand new elements. Did you know that? No. New elements, yeah. All your books are old books now. There's, there are new elements. One is called 113. What? One is called 115. Another one, 117. And then 118. Now, now, Prophet T.B. Joshua discovered one, one of the elements. And Pastor Enoch Adeboyo discovered the other. Really? Are you so, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that should tell you that it is not just sexually transmitted diseases that our prophets have been discovering. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> If not that Nigeria. we don't respect and promote our prophets, Nigeria has a very good chance eh, that one of these man-made elements may be named Nigeriana. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now, to show you why I'm putting my trust on, in the prophets than the scientists, Nigeria's Minister of Science and Technology announced to the nation this week that he did not have a Facebook account. Oh. No, no. Take, I'll, I'll pause so that you take it. Minister for Science and Technology has no Facebook account. How? 
and he was he was proud of it. He said he said he said when his typewriter breaks down, he he will use carbon paper. Carbon paper. Do you you know? I know. You know. I know. I know. You don't know what carbon paper means. Now this is this is what I'm saying. Um, uh, minister, minister. Oh no, let me tell you this. For just one million naira, eh? Tunde Fashola can hook you up with a Facebook account. So that you can join the twenty first century. Even a just, website. just give him one million naira. Even a website. Why not? Why <laughs> now, not? in religious news, a new sexually transmitted disease will surface in 2016. How is that religious? Exactly. Exactly. That, that's the question I asked. If you were like me, you wonder how how did that enter religious news? What? Well, I, I, I will tell you, I will tell you. I wanna know. It was part of Pastor Enoch Adebe's 2016 hey, predictions. Hey, what? No. Pastor Enoch got me knocking my head with this prediction. Hey. What was the man of God looking for when he saw <laughs> this STD? <laughs> no, no, I'm asking, what? Stop. Where? Well, okay, wait, wait. Where? Into what tunnel did his eyes, or whatever, wander in? <laughs> what, what? Help me understand. How did he oh get to... Gosh. I don't know. This, this... Uh, <laughs> that help us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in entertainment news, the video had a drastic baby mama drama last week. Hey. Did you guys watch it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> His baby mama, walking hand in hand with Dele Momodio, mm. accused the video of trying to kidnap her daughter. Hey. Now, now, it became the biggest story of 2016. The stress of it all even sent the video to the hospital. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, it was serious. What? Now, along the way, the video cried out. He said that Dele uh. Momodo is planning to set me up. Hey. Now, now, when Axe explained, he said that when Sophia came into his bedroom oh, God. and he licked his tongue, oh, God. Momodu, no, no, wait, this, I'm telling you what he wrote on Twitter, Momedu's juju kicked him. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the videos, the videos baby mama, Sophia, went to the media and mm. he, she insisted that she wasn't smoking Igbo. Oh, God, God. The, as David was accusing her of smoking Igbo. It was terrible. Hey, the allegations Sophia. were flying everywhere. Now, this is what I said to Sophia. Sophia. How can you say something like this? Eh? There goes the only valid reason why you ended up in the video's bedroom without a condom. That oh. you were smoking Igbo. That was the reason hey. we accepted. We, when we saw what happened to you, we said, okay, she was smoking Igbo. Now that you don't smoke Igbo, what happened? How did you end up there? <laughs> now, the whole, the whole social media went crazy. Everyone had something to say about it. One Dr. Ola Balogun advised Sophia not to turn the video into a bank ATM. Yeah. The man said to the uh, Sophia, get a job. No, 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 I get it, I get it. But, but look at it this way. The video started it all. You know, he was the one that turned Sophia into a spam bank. Really? That, that, was, that was how the problem started. <laughs> wow. I mean, this, I, you don't hear this on Keeping It Real. No, nothing like this. You can, wow. I, we, went, we go deep to bring you this stuff. <laughs> this is a segment we call Secrets of... Pictures! Yeah. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Words. Now, you're looking at the first picture. That's the picture of a statue of Jesus in yeah, Nigeria. Jesus. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's not black, it's white. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah. This is the, the, the highest, the most, the biggest statue of Jesus in Africa. Hey, hallelujah! Giant one, and Woo. it's it's natural that it has to be in Nigeria because Nigeria is the oh, giant of Africa. Please, oh, please. <laughs> now, now, this this thing was done by a Chinese company. A Nigerian businessman paid the Chinese company to build the biggest statue of Jesus in Africa. Wow! I know, I know. I'm like, God damn it! Even Amazing. even Jesus is now made in China. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> Should they make everything in China? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> now, the second picture you're looking at is that of ex-PDP chairman on a wheelchair. Mm. He, he appeared in court in a wheelchair. Yeah, I saw that. The, 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 isn't yeah. that painful? You know? Yeah. This is, the, but look at it, look at it this way. This is a very easy miracle to perform. Eh? You don't need to lay your hand on the man to heal him. Mm -hmm. Just drop a scorpion on the wheelchair and <laughs> The man will be held. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you, where is Prophet T.B. Joshua when you needed him most? Where is he? Scorpion, drop it on the wheelchair. The man. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you think the man is sick? 
<laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. Biafran passport Masob defrauded us. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Some people got Biafran passport from Masob and they are now complaining that Masob defrauded them. I said, I said, these are people of small, little faith. I know, I know you want to travel with a passport. That's okay. Go to countries like Haiti, Tanzania, Gabon. They will let you in. Stop, don't come to America. No, don't, don't go to Britain now. Go. They, they didn't do, I don't think they defrauded. No, I'm, I'm helping you out. Wow. They defrauded us. <laughs> Anyway, APC warns against insulting Buhari and government officials. <laughs> no, 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 don't laugh, don't, not, not so fast. Eh? The, these APC people, they've forgotten how they got to power. Hey. Is it not by insulting Jonathan? <laughs> eh? Why are they worried now? I say, go chop shit, all of you. Go chop no! shit. Go, I, I mean, what, I, yes. we have to tell them the same. They, they, they've been saying that for tell them the truth. four years, and now they, they are chopping. Go shop shit. Stop, stop. <laughs> I will accept Supreme Court's verdict, says uh, Governor Wicke. Okay. I'm like, oh no, why now? Why are you falling my hand, eh? Why? You have a Kowas court to go to, hmm. African court, AU court to go to. Even the world court, before you accept the verdict, why are you stopping at the Supreme Court? Why? Eh? This man, don't fail me now. <laughs> you have places to go. Stay there. <laughs> I don't know why they make these things news. I will accept the Supreme Court's ju judgment. Like, you can say no. <laughs> <laughs> President Buhari's media chat and the words of a tyrant mm -hmm. said Femi Fani Kayode. I'm like, wow. Don't, don't you love reading the words of an addict? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, democracy addict. That's what I mean. What, where, where did your mind go to, Tomato Joss? Democracy addict. His words are golden. <laughs> and then he lied. I didn't receive up to 63 million from him, says Yakasi. You know the guy? That's uh, one of the Jonathan's men. Yeah. Now, now. No, I, you know, I, I have a very easy way to solve this problem. I think the two of them should quietly go to a, a corner of uh, Crickery Prison, mm -hmm. sit down there, and then iron this out, sort it out within themselves, you know? We don't, we don't need to fight on pages of newspapers. Let them just go inside the pre I know there is a place there they can sit down and... <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Buhari is not God, and we will not worship him, says the PDP. Wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and they added, more so, he doesn't even give out money like that's okay. Yeah. That, I, this is, this, that's the real point. It's not about being God. It's just that he doesn't give out money like that's okay. Otherwise, they worship him. Uh, didn't everybody worship that's okay? Wow. That, that was what happened. Dasuki gets Femi Adeshina collected 50 million for Guild of Editors. What? Says Ndoka Obiabuna. You know Ndoka is in trouble, so he has to talk about people who collected money from him. <laughs> now, 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 let me, let me, <laughs> this is that the spokesman of the president collected money. Hmm. Now, now, that explains the rigorous editing that our newspapers go through. Hey. You know, when they got this money, they started editing. There are some stories that, mm, no, this cannot come out. This, this cannot come out. Because, yeah, the money was... Nonsense. Uh, 4.7 billion naira for cars. Buhari cannot dictate to us, says the National Assembly. Eh? You know the National Assembly, they, they budgeted 4.7 billion and Buhari said you can't spend it. And eh? they are saying, you can't tell us what to do. Eh? I say, Benny, that's, that's a good, that's the, they have a point. The people should dictate what should be done. I'm like, like sending them all packing. <laughs> Kick them, that's, Buhari cannot, Woo! let the people kick them all out. That's, mm. that's the solution. Mm. Nonsense. Mm. Nigeria under state-sponsored tyranny, says Femi Fani Kayode. Mm. You know Femi, the man is very smart. You know, but the question is, is why is it happening? Mm. Why is it that Nigeria is under state-sponsored tyranny? I, I will know. tell you, I will tell you. Because Jonathan led a state-sponsored looting of the country. Doctor. Once you go this way, Action and reaction are equal and opposite. You know that? That's the second law of physics. I, it will go far to explain things to people. 
You don't see this on Cape Canaveral, do you? No. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> a man in Kenya cuts his manhood hey! due to his inability to get a girlfriend. Oh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is that. That's my kind of man. This guy, you know, the, you put the knife where your pen is. Nothing beats it. It gets better from there, you know. I understand that as soon as he cut his manhood off, women started flocking to his room, begging him to flog them. Um, Doctor, really? Uh, what? Flog them? With what? Anyway. <gasps> <laughs> it's time for your email. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's time for your email. So, it's time for your email. Hola. Tomato Joss, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, we're well, back again. This what will be different this year. We, mm. Do you know what will be different this year? Well, hopefully my check can get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good to dream. It's good to dream, you know? Do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Before she start going far off from <laughs> what we here to do. <laughs> All right, let's hear them. Okay, our first email is from Abbas Ahmed from Medina, Saudi Arabia. Oh, yeah, that's my friend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've been there? That's, uh, no, I've not been there. I'm oh. planning, yeah. Mm, Very I'm soon. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. hmm, he writes, Hi, the best doctor on earth. You see what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, that's I my guess. friend. Yeah. He said, I've been following your show since episode 40. Wow. But it's very annoying that you never uh, read my emails. Uh, mm -hmm. With regards to PDP's claim that Buhari is afraid of Dasuki becoming president in 2019, please tell them that they shouldn't worry at all because Dasuki could become the longest serving president in the Republic. Public of Kirikiri, <laughs> with Diziani as vice president and FFK as spokesperson. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep doing the good work. Regards to all. I love Sahara TV. Oh. You are the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, my friend Abbas. Thank you. You know, I'm happy that Tomato just finally read your email. Why not? I, I, I hope you're happy too, you know. <laughs> as sure. for Dasuki, you know, the man wanted to go to London for medical treatment. Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about that. That treatment he missed. Now, his doctor will be very unhappy that he didn't show for that treatment. Hmm. You know, these are the kind of things that worry me <laughs> when we talk about Dasuki. But people like you don't think about this. I'm a doctor. I know the need for ah. this man to see his doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Woo! Next. Okay, our second email is from James Oluron Shabi. He writes, mm -hmm. Dear Dr. Damages, it bothers me a lot that many pastors are not thinking straight again. Mm. How can a pastor say that you cannot use tithe if it is only the money on you all to save someone who is, criti who is in critical condition in a hospital? That is wrong, quoting him, wow. and that you do not have that right. What? If you think I am lying, look at October 1st, 2015, mm. devotional of Open Heavens by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and see for yourself. What? Hmm. The, wow. The, James, somebody said that? Uh, James, James, James. Hmm. James. What, what is, what got into you? Don't you know that you do not question our, my anointed? Hmm. Eh? If you start questioning what's our go daddy, no, I mean, um, <laughs> I mean what's our daddy in the Lord? Woo! What they are saying. <laughs> Very soon you start questioning what the politicians are saying. Hmm. That is what I'm afraid of. Mm -hmm. Now, if you question what they do with your own money, mm -hmm. imagine the power you will have when you start questioning what politicians do with our commonwealth. Hey! So, so that's mm. why we say, do not touch my anointed. Do not. Don't question what they do. Just obey. Obey. Give. Give tight. Don't, An don't, don't, why don't not? worry. Don't why worry. Not? God will take care of you. Of course. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> my man, thank you so much. Give telling them. We are telling, we've been saying this. Nobody listened to us. So we hmm. said the opposite. Next. Okay. Our third email is from Amina Abubakar. Ooh, she writes. Oh, Amina. You see, I know Amina. Amina. I remember her. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's my friend. Yeah. So she writes. Good day, Dr. Damages. I am a diehard fan of yours. You see what I'm saying? And I'm a medical student in Sudan. What? I am a also doctor. technically your student. Ah, you see? Mm -hmm. have, you like watch, me. have you watched the presidential media chat? Of course. Now I can see that we have good leadership in the country. Mm -hmm. But actually, did you see the president's reaction when he talked of those teenagers hitting the chest of the generals? It is obvious he 
it pained him. Mm -hmm. If only he was still a military president. Whoa! But once a general, always a general. Yep. My regards to Tomato George. Wow. Ah. I know, I know, I know. I mean, I know, I know. Thank you so much for your email. You know, the funny thing is that in a democracy, people mm. are afraid of their police, mm. not their military. Mm. Like in the United States here, yeah, we don't fear the army. Of course The not. army, they, they can be arrested by the police. Mm -hmm. But in Nigeria, because of our history, we are afraid of the soldiers more ah. than the police. But I got your point, I got your point. What Buhari was saying is the same thing that everybody's saying. Do not touch my anointed. And for Buhari, the anointed are the soldiers. You don't touch, <laughs> his, don't touch his soldiers. Do not, oh. hey. <laughs> Who is your anointed? That is the question. You have to have your own anointed. The Lord. Next. <laughs> Our fifth email is from Chris. Oh, Sorry. Chris. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. He writes. Yeah, it's my friend. But Dasuki is wicked, oh. Uh -uh. How can this man sit? And watch Did he even say hello to me? He before don't he... care. He don't care. He just writes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> he said, but Dasuki is wicked, though. Uh -huh. How can this man sit and watch about hundred and something soldiers sentenced to death for treason mm. when he clearly knows he's truly the cause of that no weapon I, for soldiers' I know, movement? I know. People are wicked, though. I know. Hmm. What a shame, doctor. Mm -hmm. I will stay in the politically correct world okay. and say Dasuki is innocent until proven guilty. That is what the law but says. But if you say, make I speak my mind, <laughs> no, I will no, tell no. you that no, no. that man has killed us. Ooh. That man is a thief, what? doctor. What? But anytime they bring him to you to your clinic after and, the sentence, mm -hmm. because he will surely fall sick. <laughs> Let's look at ways wheelchair. you can cause damages, mm. since it's what you do. What? Or better still, use him for research. Because I never see this kind one. Oh. <laughs> thank you, doctor. I remain your faithful friend. Oh, uh, thank you, Chris. <laughs> thank you. But but Chris, Chris, Chris I know hey. you don't like me one bit. Mm. Yeah? If I see a patient like Dasuki walking here, hey. I will simply call the Center for Disease Control. Doctor! I will call the emergency hotline and Doctor. demand a special team of hey. infectious control battalion Please. to rush wow. over here and take him for a special facility for quarantine. Hmm. No, 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 no. I, I will get them to disinfect this place because hmm. I can't treat something. No, no, you cannot. Even Doctor. there are some positions that when I open them up, I'll be like, oh, Hey. This one, this oh no 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 no. Doctor. Next next, don't don't Chris, you don't like me at all. That's why you're so bring hmm. bring him here. For what? He will infect everything. Ne next. So our sixth email is from engineer Ekenechu Kuchinon. So wow. Hey. She's calling him more names like. The, fluent. Hey, the thing is this: after hey. eating a uh, uh, pepper soup and uh, goosey soup, she catches uh, all this um, <laughs> language. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. So he writes, hello, doctor. I want to thank you for that smile you bring to our faces. What? Eh. I, I, I'm touched, you know. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm melting here. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Hey. Right. He said, I want to thank you for that smile you bring to our faces with, with your expository show and comedy. All the best are my wishes for you and your laughter colleagues. Wow. My kisses to tomato. Ah, um, no wonder we read your email. No wonder. <laughs> I was wondering, this guy didn't... Hey, thank you, hey. thank you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, we want to thank you for being there. Mm -hmm. Jokes apart, we do this because you are watching. Mm -hmm. If you're not watching, too much just will... I won't have a job. <laughs> she won't have a job. Hey. She will go somewhere else. Hey. Anyway, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at... gmail.com And follow us on Twitter at... Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419. Of the book make space for me by Farrah gray hmm. and it says build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs i always hey. say that i always uh, say that too much to just mm. <laughs> it's 2016. Uh, I, this doesn't apply to you you know you keep working here but i know that oprah doctor uh, I, no, no it doesn't apply to you In what until next week i am dr damages i diagnose you Oh, to much just this a new year. New year. What is your new year resolution? What do you plan to do this year? Different. Oh, yeah. Tell me something different you plan to do. I'm gonna smile more. <laughs> we see that. I'm already. gonna dance. Oh, I'm my. gonna keep laughing oh, for you my. haters out there. Ooh. You don't like my laugh. <laughs> Deal with it. Ooh. I mean, I have no power here. She they are the people behind the scene, they control everything. So Anyway, so you are going to laugh more and you're going to smile Maybe more. Maybe travel. Travel more. What are you going to you? go to Russia to see that guy? What guy? 
This is a new year. Don't try to marry okay, me okay. off. This oh, is okay, a new okay, year. Okay, okay, Please. Okay, okay. Uh-uh. Let's, let's, forget about it. let's forget about that. that. Let's forget about that. Uh-huh. You know, what did, about you hear, you? did you hear that Kosi, my Kosi, is getting mm-hmm. married this year? I've been depressed. Are you invited? I've been depressed. Are you invited? Is no, the question. How am I going to survive? With but are you invited? No invitation yet. No invitation. Because so, she knew. So we must crash that knew, wedding. She knew I was crying. We must I've crash been, that I've wedding. I've been crying. Kosi, if you're I've been watching. Crying. Kosi is getting married. You hear? Oh, that's terrible. Mm-hmm. Hi, Aisha. <laughs> Look at you, man. No, 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 no. I have to take care. I have to take care. I have to take care. I have to take care of the real people. 